Hi everyone, this is Sudeshna from the Abundant Psyche and you are listening to the Not So Corporate podcast. Here we talk about all of the not so corporate things that we corporate entrepreneurs do within and outside our corporate lives. And today I have with me Nicola. She's a former business change consultant, worked with Accenture and KPMG and EY, and she now works with female professionals looking to make a change in their career, helping them annihilate the self-doubt and the fear of judgment so that they have the confidence to carve out a career that fulfills their passion and allows them to showcase their talents. Welcome, Nicola. So glad to have you. Thank you so much. You say that consulting gives you the broad base of exit options. Is that one of the reasons that you went into consulting, Nicola? And did you find that to be true? So, so I, as I spent time, so I went into consulting wanting to have this really broad experience. And then I became very interested in human performance, people development, and, and wanted to hone my career in that direction. Interestingly, what I found when I then left consulting is that I had so many options available to me that it then became really difficult to decide. So it was kind of, right, what path am I actually going to go down? And I've got a really clear memory of sitting on Tooting Common with my daughter, who was nine, ten months old, and she was playing around in a blanket and I sat down, in fact I've probably still got it somewhere, I sat down with a notebook and brainstormed all the things that I potentially could do and it went on for pages and pages and pages and actually quite a large part of those first few months was trying to figure out what the heck do I do next and and, you know it's a nice position to be in however it, it, it is that whole piece of right where where am I actually going to specialise. And at the time, I had very clearly in my head that I had to get the answer right. So if if I was to approach the same situation now, I would do it very, very differently. But at the time, I thought I was picking the thing that I was going to do for the next 20 years of my life. And actually, I now know that that is not how the world works. And that's not how entrepreneurship and solopreneurship works. But at the time, I was very fixated on getting the right answer. That is so funny. And this is what I hear all the time from people I work with, my peers, my friends, my colleagues, uh, is that consultants typically have the opposite problem from the rest of the folks because you have the problem of choice. The rest of the folks are struggling to find a job, maybe in a difficult economy, but consultants have quite the opposite problem too many options what do I choose so how did you make that choice Nicola um I almost fell into it so the the my first stab at entrepreneurship was creating an agency called life after maternity leave so I was going through this whole process of oh my god what do I do after my maternity leave and I was having conversations with so many people at the time that I then set up this consulting service whereby people could come to me and we could thrash out what their options were and and there was an online platform bear in mind this was back in 2009 so the world has moved on in many many ways um, since then but this was about consolidating the information that was out there to help people make decisions and help people to decide what was right for them And, and that operated for three and a half, four years. And then it, that led me on to the next part of my journey because I, again, you start to learn that you you don't want to do things forever. And I had learned a whole heap of things about setting up a business, setting up an online presence, becoming visible on social media. And from there, I actually created something called the Mums Business Academy. So it kind of followed through from life after maternity leave. A lot of people decided to go back to the role that they were in. Some people decided to be completely devote themselves and be at home with their children. Some people decided to set up their own business and that that was the crowd that the Mums Business Academy was catering to. It it was an online course to help people from start to finish of like that very first moment of what is, what are my ideas? How do I get that idea from idea to an actual viable business that is running? And again, I did that for probably about two and a half, three years, at the same time running face-to-face networking groups for people in my 
local area and around that had children that were working around children and created networking for them so that they could build up and it was really important at the time when you've got young children if there's anybody listening with young children who is also growing and developing a business really important that you've got your network around you and your people around you and people around you that understand and understand the challenges that you're facing and, and that was that was what we created through those those networking groups and so the, there was the networking group which was a local piece and then the mum's business academy which was online that is so interesting and i love how you connected the dots backwards elbows you you say that very well like picking up on the breadcrumbs yeah, yeah. So fo follow the breadcrumbs. And at the time, so this is something that I talk about with clients now. At the time, I didn't know that's what I was doing. It felt really clunky and uncomfortable. And I used to get frustrated with myself because I would say, well, why can't I just stick with one thing? You know, I, I'd get to the point of being, I've done that. And this is probably the consultant in me because... It's very difficult for a consultant to then go into a functional role and be happy in a functional role where they are doing the same thing day in, day out, month in, month out. I have a friend who's a management accountant and she like she can map out the next 10 years of her life based on her month ends. She knows when her month ends are going to fall. She knows when her year end will fall. She knows her peaks. She knows her troughs. That is not for me at all. I like the variety. I, I like mixing it up. And so I have now recognised in myself that much the way you are as a consultant where you work on a project by project basis, that my business is going to be cyclical, that I will always be evolving and changing and growing and developing and moving on to the next thing. And I used to give myself a hard time about it because I was thinking, why can't I just stick with one thing? But actually, I've now come to, to accept that's OK because there's a common thread that runs through all the work that I've ever done. And that is around human performance and people development. And so a, in a corporate context, that was very much around, I guess, organizational development um, and development of teams and on a larger scale. And now it's much more about personal transformation. That is so true that management consultants, because of the variety that we are used to, because of the short and snappy projects that we are used to, the implementation or the functional, deeply functional roles. I mean, there there will be look, there will be some consultants out there who really enjoy that deep expertise and I myself like to go very deep on certain things, but equally, as long as I have the variety within those certain things. Let us know what you thought in the comments. Leave us a review, like, subscribe, and we'll see you the next time. Bye. Bye.